All right, welcome to episode five. In this episode, we're going to look at organizing our keyboard input a little bit better. Um, so the problem is, how do we deal with all the different keyboards events? And we want to be able to determine, is a particular key being held? And this is used for determining key collisions, like if left and right are held down at the same time, what do we do? How do we know if that happens? Um, has a key just been pressed? This is useful for jumping, walking, shooting guns, etc., etc. And has a key just been released? And so this is a lot of logic um, that has to do with keyboard input in particular. So we're going to break this out into another class instead of having this all in the game class. Um, another thing we're going to do is, um, another advantage to this is we're going to be able to evaluate uh, the key presses in the order that we want and not in the order that SDL gives it to us in that SDL uh, pull event loop. So our solution is to create an input class that tracks key presses. Um, we are going to be using the standard map, um, S, uh, a map of SDL keys as our keys, um, and we're going to map that to bool. And we're going to use a few of those. So some methods. Every time we begin a new frame, we need to know um, that a new frame has begun. And, and by frame, I mean the beginning of the event loop. And the reason we need to know this is we're going to need to know if a key was pressed or if a key was released in this frame. So we need to know if we're in a new frame so that we can clear our maps. Um, <clears throat> the other thing we're going to need to have, uh, uh, these are all the other the methods we're going to need pretty much. Um, key down event is just going to take an SDL event um, whenever the event dot type is key down in the main event loop we'll call this method and whenever it's key up uh, we'll call the key up event and that will process the keys for us um, and so yeah this pretty much this pretty much sums up what we're going to be doing let's get started all right, so let's open up an input.h. I should probably make a template so that I don't have to keep writing this over and over again. But I haven't done that yet. I'll do that soon. Um, so what is input going to need? Uh, I think we should be fine with default constructor, so we don't need a constructor or a destructor. Uh, like I said, we're going to need maps, so I'll include map, and that's going to be private data. From SDL key to bool. So I'll also include SDL. And this map, uh, we're going to make this map our held keys. We'll make another map for our pressed keys. And one more for our released keys. Um, okay, and some of the methods that we're going to implement is begin new frame. It's going to be void, of course. Event handling functions void key up event and key down event. These both take in SDL event. I didn't even make this const. And then we want to know was a key pressed? Was key pressed? 
and that'll take an STL key. Was key released? And is key held? So this should be pretty straightforward to implement. So I'm going to go ahead and implement it. Source input.cc include input.h. Do some fancy magic where I just do fancy magic. So input colon colon at the beginning of each of these. Record this uh, qqx a Okay, so let's start with begin new frame. Um, for begin new frame, all we're going to do is clear out these two maps, these pressed keys and released keys maps. So that's very easy to do. Um, released keys dot clear. There, we did it. Those two maps are now cleared. So key down event. Um, we're going to have to examine our actual event structure. So. Um, pressed keys because a key is being pressed in this frame event dot key dot key sim dot sim and that's the awesome way of getting the the SDL key um, <laughs> it's pretty deep down in there so uh, that is going to be set to true instead of its default false um, we're going to do the same thing in key up events except for released keys instead of pressed keys. And then what we're going to do for held keys is we're going to do true for here. Uh, let's get this. This is going to be true. And then inside of key up event, it's going to be false. So that way. Once a key, when a key gets pressed, it starts being held, and when a key gets released, it stops being held. So that's pretty straightforward. So um, you should know that when you're using a map and you're trying to get a value that doesn't exist, or you're trying to get a bool that doesn't exist, it's going to default to false. So I'm assuming that you guys know about this, but actually I'm not because I just told you. But was key pressed. Was key pressed is just going to be pressed keys sub key. Also very easy. Was key released. Same kind of deal except with released. And is key held. Pretty similar except with held keys. And that is our input class. So yeah. Let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to start by making. Um, warning, control reaches end of non void. Did I not return? Did I not return? I did not return. That was silly. OK, so yeah, they're returning now. This should make. It does. Sweet. So now let's head into the game class and actually use our input class. So we'll just do input, input, oh, let's include it, too. So input, input. OK. So uh, instead of doing this, I'll do, I'll do this in a second. So remember how we have an input dot begin new frame. Got to remember to call that. Next, we can take care of the key down, um, key down event, and we can pass it our event. Easy, right? Uh, we also need to do the key up event. OK, 
Okay. Um, and as just a quick test of this, I'm going to, instead of using this if statement, get rid of that, and, and that's to, uh, uh, that's the, this is the quit key, so this is going to turn running into false. So we're going to do if outside of this STL pull event, um, so this is how we can control the order in which we evaluate uh, input. So if input dot is key or was key pressed and we can pass it SDL K escape if that is the case then we want to set running to be equal to false so we'll get rid of that in here now um, and we'll make really quick just to make sure everything's working okay now let's make run Okay, he's walking, he's walking, and now I hit escape, and woohoo! Our input, our input still works. So, this is great news, and that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.